So a lot of people responded to my posts about game preservation and emulation, saying stuff like, well, if Nintendo really cared, they would open up their backlog to blah blah blah. I'm gonna be honest, I don't expect Nintendo to care. I don't even want them to care. Nintendo's job is to make games and game hardware. And you know what? They're pretty good at their job. Game preservation takes an entirely different skill set. It takes people with an entirely different base of knowledge. And I don't expect companies to be responsible for their own game preservation. I don't expect companies to have to keep vaults with their original game code. That's not something that's in their job description. This is why we don't expect authors to keep archives of their books. We don't expect directors and producers to keep archives of their movies. We have other people whose job that is. What I expect Nintendo to do is just step out of the way when it comes to game preservation. Sure, they can fight to keep their intellectual property rights within reason. If some douchebag off the street creates a knockoff Mario game and tries to sell it for profit, yeah, they should take legal action against that. But come on, you know that's not what fan games are doing. You know that's not what hacks are doing. You know that's not what emulators are doing. You know that's not what game preservation efforts are doing. But as long as our copyright law stays the way it is, those efforts are going to be largely blocked. A lot of people also commented that if Nintendo doesn't fight to keep their trademarks on certain properties, then they're in danger of losing them. That's actually true, so in a way, I don't entirely blame Nintendo. I don't actually think this is a situation of Nintendo just has to do better. I think this is a situation of our laws are broken. Because our laws are currently creating a situation where Nintendo and other companies like Nintendo have no choice to act super shitty toward people who are just trying to chronicle and library video games. If that's what the law is requiring them to do, then the law is broken. Because the law should allow for both sides to be protected, right? The law should allow Nintendo to create products and profit off those products, and the law should allow people to preserve video games for artistic integrity for future generations. Both sides of the coin need to exist. Other companies that support fan hacks and preservation projects, they usually just turn a blind eye. They probably could be in legal trouble if it ever came to that, but they just decided to say, fuck it, and chance it. Should Nintendo do that? I mean, I wish they did, but I also don't think I can ask them to do that. Like I said in my original video, our laws have not caught up to our technology. Fan games need to exist. Hacks need to exist. Fan translations need to exist. Emulators need to exist. All of these things are an integral part of the gaming community and gaming ecosystem. They are how a lot of up-and-coming developers get their start. And I don't want to take that opportunity away from people who are just learning to create games. And until our law catches up, maybe I am saying Nintendo can stand to take a couple losses for the betterment of the gaming community. But that's just my opinion, and there's definitely people who don't agree with me if you look at the comments. But then again, I think it's the duty of people with privilege and resources to give back to the community, gaming or otherwise.